are going. Whew. Wednesday, July 15th. And we're starting our warm up. Three rounds. Here we have a cardio for 30 seconds. Just get people moving on those machines. You're at home. A couple options. Big jog. Uh, jump rope. Jumping jacks. Many options for 30 seconds. But here we're getting people on the machines. Just to get that blood flowing. Get things moving a little bit. We started a few minutes late here, but I'm realizing that when we start a little bit late. Uh, at home, it doesn't really matter because you're watching this video later on, so it starts when you start. So, we are just into the second exercise of our warm up our dive bombers. All right. Ready, guys. All right, so we got a good one for you today, so let's make sure we use the warm up. Get that blood flowing, get that heart rate up, stretch things out a little bit. Do some strength and cardio today. And all right, so dive bombers, we have six of those. After dive bombers, you're onto your squat to stand. And let's see, if you finish with your squat to stand, we go to skaters. Uh, everyone takes different times on their warm up, so let's try to let you know where we are at. Little bit of folks still at squat to stand, some are at skaters, some have moved on to their slasher to Halo. Now, in the gym here, we got a lot of people with a lot of different weights, heavy ones, some lighter ones. So hopefully at home we can make it do for you guys. If you only have certain weights, the heavy exercises maybe you won't be able to do too much of. Obviously you can still do them, but it might not feel too challenging. So hopefully the exercises that require light weights will work well for you. All right, after you slash into Halo, we have a single leg reach for each side of those. Finish the round with your hip roll. All right, so we're on single leg reach here. Hip roll. Now, we still have a couple of spots open at our 6 a.m. Most people are used to just leaving the 6 a.m. alone, not even bothering to sign up. But we have eight people who are now scheduled in at least four open spots for our 6 a.m. class here in Wakefield. Now in East Greenwich, lots of spots. That's just spot that uh, people haven't fully come back to yet. A lot of people are sleeping in. They go to the 7.30 class in East Greenwich. That's a popular time. Here at 7.15 is a very popular time in the Wakefield. So if anyone want to come in for a 6 a.m. class, there are spots available on MindBody. So we finished up our hip roll. And that was round one. Now we're on to round two. Getting your cardio in. I know uh, at home doing jumping jacks might get boring after a little while. Uh, getting a jump rope, that's a good alternative. Getting creative with your cardio. I mean, I know a lot of people are in the basement, so it's hard to run outside. Uh, burpees work, squat jumps work, but it's hard to beat a plain old jumping jack. Easy enough to do, and it gets the heart rate up, and it also gets the lymphs pumping, getting the uh, detoxification process going in the body. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, second round, we're on to our dive bombers. So again, you guys go at your pace at home. Getting warm. One more very important part of our day, of our workout. Workout's obviously an extremely important part of our day, like a warm-up. 
can't see myself jumping into a workout without fully warming up. Matter of fact, I got an interview with a uh, local, well, his physical therapy offices in Connecticut, but he's a local guy. And he's starting a, uh, I think he's doing a blog. Uh, anyway, we're, we're talking about warming up and proper ways to warm up. I feel that manic training has done a great job keeping people healthy, and a big part of that is the warm up. So you hear a lot of classes that you know, right into things. I think our warm up is a very huge part of our workout, slowly getting that body ready for the intensity we put it through. But you guys all know that already. As we move through our second round here, we did our squat to stand, skaters, we're on slasher to hater. Joining us on our Zoom class, I'd like to welcome Carrie and Oliver and Daniela. Nice to have a crew here. Roxanne might pop in in a few minutes. So I hope you guys are doing well at home. Early bird gets the worm, right? Then we're on to our single leg reach of our second round of our warm up. Hey guys, I know at home, I don't think either of you. I have a cardio machine, so I put up options, different options. Instead of doing calories on the machine here, you get your lots of either burpees, jack of the box, jumping jacks. So again, you guys can get creative with your cardio. I also tell people, you want to save your cardio to the end if you know you're going for a nice bike ride or jog or paddle boarding, you know, you can kind of save your cardio to the end. Just do all the strength parts of the workout today. We have eight supersets. All right, as we move through our warm up, we're on to our hip roll. And we're on to our third round, starting cardio. But the workout itself <clears throat> is uh, supersets. Like I was mentioning, you get two different exercises. We're just going back and forth with two exercises, starting with 12 reps of each. And then 10, and then eight, and then six. And then you go on to your cardio after that. Here, these guys are doing machines at home. I give you a couple of different exercises to, uh, to try to simulate how long it would take to do the certain amount of calories here on the machines. So, see how it all works out. See how it all works out. Either way, you're moving for an hour and it should feel good. You can always skip the cardio and get to that bonus round at the end, a little core blaster. Up to you. All right, where are we at? Third round, finished our cardio after our dive bombers. Finish up our warm up. I had another question for those people out there. I appreciate those who answer, email me, or text me, tell me they still watch these videos, and um, definitely gets a lot of views on YouTube. So I know that they're getting watched. That's awesome. And I'm just wondering about the quality of the video. I tried to get a high def cam, uh, webcam. Very difficult nowadays. Logitech is out of all of its cameras, and it's supposed to be a high def, but it's Obviously, you can see it works, but it's not the same quality as when I was using my phone to record the video to work out. It's just a lot faster process when I use Zoom and record to the cloud. I can get these workouts usually up by 8 o'clock if I remember. But I'm just hoping that the quality is good enough and it doesn't deter from anyone's workout. I'm guessing it is not because you're kind of listening to my voice half the time anyways. You're looking to see some cues from Sherry or from Henry, but for the most part, you guys know a lot of what you're doing. A little video cue here or there probably helps. 
So any feedback on the quality of the video would be greatly appreciated. I am getting a new laptop soon with better graphics card. That might help. I'm assuming it will, but if any computer tech people out there know for sure that a better graphics card will help the recording, I'm recording to the Zoom cloud. So, anyways, sometimes I get chatty and I apologize. It's just a warm up. We're onto our single legged reach here. And then we're almost done with our warm up. All right, I gotta get some water. All right, uh, yeah, I mean, mentioned water because I know how dehydrated I was on Monday. So uh, I had to rehydrate a lot yesterday. So not as humid today, nice cool uh, uh, feeling out there, but it doesn't mean you can't stop drinking. You need those. You need to, need to hydrate, guys. You need to hydrate. Can't tell you enough. Let's see where we're at. Looks like we're done our warm up. All right, guys. So uh, these guys are, uh, are they waiting for me? I don't know. I should go tell them to work. But uh, I think they are ready to go. Ready to go. So if you guys finish up that warm up. When you are ready, we're going to start with our first superset, which is a dumbbell one arm floor press and your kettlebell bottoms up squat. So we start with our six on each side of your one arm floor press, right? Just lying on that ground. Nice strong chest press. Six on each side. Now, if you guys are still war finishing up the warm up, you can probably catch up a little bit at the end of this first superset if you're not doing your cardio right away and maybe holding your cardio for the end later on in the day all right if you wanted to hop in and catch up with us we are on the first round first superset dumbbell floor press six on each side then we go to our bottoms up squat right bottoms up is how we hold on to that kettlebell holding on to that handle nice and strong grip and we just do our squats. All right, basic squat. It's more about how you hold on to that kettlebell. Six on each side. your bottoms up squat and go back to your floor press again the supersets I try to get heavier each round I know at home you guys don't have that additional weight so just take your time slow controlled movements you know more time on the load gives you greater intensity um, you can stick with 12 the whole time each round if you want to do some more reps you could always do that as well right you know these adaptations at home are not the most ideal as they are here in the gym so hopefully you guys are able to make that work for you i do wish i had enough weights that i could just give them out to everybody uh, as it is with 12 people in the gym we pretty much use all the weights we have sometimes some days we're on to our bottoms up squat now. Again, grabbing that kettlebell by the handle. 
tight, tight grip, using that core. Nice. Go lightweight, good time to work on range of motion. Maybe get those hips down below the knees if you can. Nice and low in that squat. You know, challenge yourself, see how much lower you can get in your squat. Five on each side. ounces in so far this morning. Not bad. Whew. All right, guys, so we're on to our bottoms up squat. I believe they're on there. Another eight round, right? Four each side. And finishing up our dumbbell floor press. Light numbers would be 10 calories. Quick little ditty, it shouldn't take more than a minute. Some people should do them in 35 seconds less. Those that are strong on the machines can bang out 12 calories. And 30 seconds is, is, is fast, but it's possible. Others do it closer to a minute. But, uh, the next three rounds, the calories go down. So if you guys are at home, 20 burpees or 20 squat jumps. That'll be a, I bet you, you burn 12 calories doing 20 squat jumps. All right, either way, moving that by. Now I've decided to skip this round of cardio to either catch up where we are at, are you gonna save your well, your cardio for later? That's totally fine. We are now next up to do the, the, the dumbbell supine fly. So a line on the ground. Kind of like we were just doing that for our floor press, but now, again, this is where we need two light dumbbells. If you have a band, a band could work as well. But we're lying on the ground. Arms are straighter, much straighter, long arms. And you kind of open up the chest and the elbows just touch the ground as you squeeze the chest to come back up. You can see Henry doing his right now. Sherry's a little slower on the machine. That's totally fine. Uh, but you got uh, Henry doing the supine flies. Super soon pine flies. So, see that five times fast. Now Sherry's on to the supine flies. Right? Keep 
those arms as long as you feel you can. Slight bend in the elbows. That's why the elbows touch. And again, 12 of those. Then we move on to our hands up push ups. Right, hands up so that we get the chest all the way down to the ground, get that full range of motion, get deep, deep, deep into that push up. You can be on the knees, no problem. You can even be on an incline. All right? If you got some boxes, got some stairs, got a couch, you know, the more you incline yourself, get the hands higher, it makes it a little easier for you. So you got some options when you push ups. Push ups, great exercise, working a lot of upper body muscles. I know I'm not the strongest at them. I need to work on more of myself. Definitely felt them yesterday doing the kettlebell push ups. Do those push-ups, Sherry alive? Is Sherry, she's alive, she's alive, she's good, all right. Sherry's down to the knees, yep, it's 12 lines up push-ups, man, it's a challenge, it certainly is a challenge. And then we're back to our supine flies. All right, right now this flies, now we got down to 10. If you have maybe just a single dumbbell that's light, you can always just do half and half, you know, with one, then switch arms, just going back and forth. So we do 10 on one side and 10 on the other. All right. Finish those fives, on to our push ups. Down to 10. All right. So push ups, back to your flies. All right, so for workouts like this, I might try to de develop a way that we could also use, I mentioned bands. Not the bands that we use for our pull-ups, not the bands that we use over our knees when we do like the squats and the monster walks, but similar material to that band, but it's a, it's a it's not a loop, just a single length uh, band, about four or five feet, <clears throat> obviously different resistance. And we can do a lot of these exercises using a band uh, so you can increase or decrease the resistance depending on how long you make that band. So I'm going to look into buying some extra ones and seeing how we can make some bands into our workouts here. And that way you guys can go on Amazon and get a band and, uh, you know, simulate a lot of these exercises at home. So, um, yeah, do our best to make some modifications so that way you can keep staying home. But I do hope that we're going to get through this crap, for lack of a better term, soon. But the way other states, the way the rest of the country is going, I don't, I don't have a whole lot of faith in the rest of the country. Rhode Island's looking good, South Kingstown, East Greenwich, Southern Rhode Island's looking good. But man, oh man, I hope that we can keep the momentum going here and that we can get back to life. I know the big question is school in the fall, are the kids going back? Are they half going back? Are they not going back at all? I don't know. But I know that the parents with the little kids makes that difficult. So for everyone's sake, I hope we can make a plan that works for everybody. But my goal is to be ready in case we did I have to all go home again. I'll figure something out to make more and more people more comfortable being able to work out at home. Uh, also, if people just want to stay home, I'll try to do my best to make sure that we can continue to have people here in the gym and working out at home. So... Uh, just some slight modifications. Hopefully it works to keep people motivated. Is Sherry dead again? Nope, okay, there she is. All right, sorry. I gotta keep my eye on her. She keeps doing that dead man stretch. All right, well, 
Looks like we finished our second set of our supersets. We're on to cardio again. They're going to do 10 calories on their machine here. You guys at home. Put your hands up. Yeah, all right. Excellent. All right, well, just got word from Henry that that was a tough station. Good to know. Good to know. It's supposed to be. You know, they see, yeah, so we're doing our, uh, our 10 calories. You guys at home want to do your jack in the box, jumping rope, go out for a jog, or save it for later. That's fine. Uh, yeah, the goal of the super is, is, is sometimes, a lot of oftentimes, we work opposing muscles, right? So if you think about the supine fly, it is working the back a little bit. Then you do the push-ups, you work in your chest. Um, not always that case, but oftentimes we're trying to work opposing muscles. Um, but different muscle groups, just to kind of get yourself fatigued. And then we can do some cardio to flush it all out. All right. Uh, nice job, nice job. Finish up our 10 calories here. And next. We get into our kettlebell. We got one arm high pulls and your sumo deadlift. So that one arm high pull, I think everyone pretty familiar with the regular high pull. You grab with both arms, elbows come up nice and high. Now, with a one arm high pull, you basically just bring one arm up. You kind of bring that elbow back. I, I always use this quote or a way to describe this. Imagine someone's kind of behind you and they're getting uh, a little annoying and you just want to get rid of them. You give them a nice little elbow to the chops, right? So you're bringing that elbow up nice and high and that kettlebell, it's almost like that bottom of the kettlebell gets 90 degrees perpendicular to the floor and you pull that elbow up, right? You kind of see Henry inside doing that. Let's see how Sherry's technique is on doing these one arm high pulls. I know I put a lot of pressure on Cherry, but she can handle it. Ah, see that? Oh, she's alternating. Oh, she started with the right. And you bring it up nice and high. It's almost like a little swing action. Sometimes you want to get that momentum. Now she's getting into that swing action where you see that the kettlebell swings a little bit at the bottom. That's fine because you're doing, you know, ooh, watch out. She almost knocked herself out. Um, you swing it a little bit to get that momentum going. That's fine. Some people like to tap the bottom, and that's fine as well. But uh, 12, so 10 each side. 12, 12, so 6 each side. Do math much? All right. Now we're on to our sumo deadlift. So the sumo, we're trying to get our feet nice and wide. I'd give them even wider if I were me. Toes pointing out to the side. And then we just drop those hips. All right, squeeze the glutes as you stand yourself back up. It's well, but your sumos. And again, they're getting light. You're using some very strong muscles here, so if you got a weight that's if not challenging enough, get those feet even wider, point them out to the side, and really drop those hips as low as you can. All right, so we're done with the uh, first round of the one on my pulls and deadlifts. Moving on to our set of 10. And I pull slide aside. All righty. Finished up on the high pulls. Moving on to our sumo deadlifts. Nice job, guys. Nice job at home. Keep moving, keep moving. Got a much less humid day here. It feels good in the gym today, which is good because I forgot to bring the towels home last night to wash. So I have uh, enough of the day. If people don't use two or three like they have been in the past couple of days. Of course, at home in your basement, get the dehumidifier going. That's probably a comfortable environment. Well, 
not the gym, but it's hopefully not bad. All right, we're on to, back on to our high pulls. Move quickly here at the end as you go back and forth, back and forth. Again, that's a cardio in itself when you move quickly from exercise to exercise. So we're back on to our sumos. up here with our third set. You guys are on track with us. If you're not, if you're not moving at our pace, moving at your pace, that's fine. You're just here to hang out. Or if you're moving on, we move, we just moved on to cardio. Going eight calories on the machines after this third set. At home, jumping jacks. 20 of those, and that'll probably burn eight calories, right? All right. Through those calories. Now, I know some of you do have a machine at home and you're doing the calories just with us. So, get those eight calories out of the way. And we come up to a fun new exercise. I found this uh, somewhere. I've been doing lots of research, watching lots of videos, different exercises, and Next one called the nobodies. Right. Just imagine your kids come up to you, they're asking for some money for the movies, and you say, I got no money. I got no money. It's more like uh, Yeah, I uh, had another analogy that I just can't put together, so I'm just gonna stick with the fact that. They're called no monies because as you imagine if you didn't have weights in your hand and you just moved your arms back and forth uh, like that, like I got no money, I just got no money, waving your hand. So that's what we're doing with that one. It's a uh, light dumbbell action for this one. So Sherry's on now, we'll be able to see a little bit better. Elbows kind of at the 90s, all right? And they're kind of attached to your rib cage and you just kind of squeeze it out and in, all right? Dumbbells touch for a rep. It's almost like you bring the shoulders back just a little bit, right? Try to keep them as level as you can. So really, you're looking to get those elbows at a 90 degrees. You don't want to arch your back so much as your shoulders kind of just come back naturally when you're bringing the weights to the side. So you get 12 of those, and then we go into our split squats. Hold on to any weight, really. Six on each side of our split squats. And I know Sherry's is still being a little careful of those ankles, our ankles. So uh, she didn't get a full range of motion in. Now Henry's doing his feet pretty close together. And that's fine when you keep that back nice and straight. Keep that weight still on that front foot. It's it's on the front heel. Uh, once you get that foot, it makes it pretty difficult because you get a lot more range of motion dropping that knee close to the ground. Now Sherry's on her second set of split squats. I can tell that the right ankle is much better than the left, so she's going to get nearly as deep on her left side because of that bum ankle. So 
All right, we're moving quickly here now. We're moving quickly. Get the no monies again. Up to our eight reps. Again, this is another exercise. If we had a band, it would be a good uh, substitution for weights. Holding on that band and opening and closing that band. Even doing split squats, you can have a band. Just step on the band with the foot and hold on with your hands. All right. Moving quickly now. Moving quickly. I don't even know where they're at. Down to four. Forward side. Some of these do go kind of quick, which is fine. It's the cardio part of it when you go quickly. But if you go too quick, I got a bonus round for them at the end. But I don't think that's going to happen. We're only halfway through. But we're on to our machine now. Only six calories at home. You can just do regular uh, uh, just squats, not even jumps. 20 squats. Not a burn six calories, I'm sure. How did Sherry get in front of Henry? I don't know. Henry's definitely going heavier with some of the exercises, so maybe that's why. But he's going to catch up real quick. Six calories on the machine. Round of cardio, we're halfway done the workout. Now, cardio gets a little heavier again as we move back up to 12 calories for our second half of the workout. That's all right, though. That's all right. No one's going to shy down for a little challenge, right? All right. Our next exercise we have our Split stance row. So we just do it. Uh, we just did the split squat. So you're familiar with that split stance, do that row, and then we have that kettlebell offset RDL. And we basically, just kind of put one foot in front of the other, toe and heel kind of line up. They're not behind each other. You're still separating your feet just a little bit, keeping that slight bend in those knees and bending at the waist. But first, let's talk about our split stance row, right? So one foot in front, one in back. You have to get low, you can put your elbow on your knee to get support if you need to, but I try to go supportless. That makes the core work a lot harder when you gotta keep yourself upright and balanced, right? You got six on each side of those. All right, then we have this offset. Kettlebell RDL, let's see how these guys do. Those shoulders back. So just pretend you're gonna you're, 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 you're rounding your shoulders. Just keep your because it was, you know, bending one knee more than the other. But, uh, yeah, I came across this one a couple weeks ago. I thought it would be a fun one to do. And that's offset RDL. All right. So now we're back to our split stance row. Five aside. Okay, 
key on both these is that core should be very well engaged. Again, pencil in the shoulder blades, like your peel in the shoulder blade back. Both exercises. We're leading with the chest. So now back to our RDLs. All right. Offset those feet. Still a slight bend in both of them. Stick the butt back. All bending at the waist. Obviously, those that are a little more flexible, get a little more range of motion with this one. It's the hamstrings that kind of prevent you from getting down all the way. All right. This is another good reason why having cohorts in a workout is good. These people are very, I say these people, Sherry and Henry, uh, particularly, these guys are, uh, you know, been around each other for years obviously always working out together so a uh, little bit of sharing of equipment going on here don't tell the cdc right uh but uh, i don't know that i get too many uh people aren't uh too familiar with each other sharing equipment most people when they're in here they're in their own little spot and they get their own equipment but once in a while we have some people who uh are almost like family with each other sharing equipment so again it's all people's comfort level when it comes to sharing equipment or coming to the gym in general. We do our best to keep everything clean, but just about everyone that comes in here has some pretty high health protocols themselves. So a little bit of sharing equipment, not too big of a deal, in my opinion. Again, I'm not a doctor. Not that doctors always know what they're doing when talking about this crazy pandemic. It changes all the time anyways, but I digress. Let's get back to this workout. Split stance rows. All right. You know, Sherry's getting happy when she starts to clap. She's getting, she's getting, she's, she's more than warmed up. She's fired up now. All right. Then that offset RDL. Yeah, you do single handed like she's doing. Get both hands on. I like how she's putting her hand on her lower back. Kind of helps. I feel when I put my hand on my lower back, I can tell that I'm I have proper form because if there's a slight arch in your lower back, that's your natural spine position. So if you keep that slight arch as you bend at the hips, bend at the waist, and you know your form is looking pretty good. All right. All right. Well, we're off to more calories. Okay, again at home, without a machine, 20 burpees, that'll burn 12 calories. Or if you're choosing a different exercise, if you have a different ideas for cardio to do at home, I'd love to hear it. Send me a text, shoot me an email, respond in a comment on YouTube, Facebook, Any comments, I like to appreciate, and I do appreciate any comments you guys give. Feedback, what you like, what you don't like, anything you want me to change, anything you want me to add. Again, I talked earlier about the possibility of getting more bands into these workouts. And then, um, you know, I do my explanation video, then I can show you some of the moves that can be modified in the band instead. So. No, start doing that. Try to get some band, more bands here in the gym. I can put a link out to Amazon for people to find similar bands. Get in two days or before next week. Maybe we could get some alternative exercises. All righty. Well, as to be expected. So he's still on that bike doing the 12 calories. Henry blew faster with that. And we're on to number six. Three more sets to go. All right, 15 minutes left in the class. We should be all set. We should be all set. Bent over flies. All right. Again, lots of core engagement here. You like that lower back has a slight arch to it. Chest is forward. And trying to get as close to, I like to try to get as close to parallel to 
to the, to the ground with my chest, but it's not always easy with everyone. You do your best to keep that core engaged. And then we lift, lift those hands up to the side, keeping those arms pretty straight, slight bend in the elbows. All right. Again, if you only have one weight, you can start with one side, doing 12 and 12 on the other side. I know that might take a little longer. But this is a good exercise for those shoulders. <clears throat> After that, we move on to our donkey kick. All right. Our goal here is to be in a plank, lower plank. Squeeze those glutes. I like to have a slight bend in my knee. Feel like you're pushing your heel up towards the ceiling. Get a less of a kick, more of a squeeze, right? Range of motion doesn't have to be too great. You know, we don't want to sacrifice a bend in the spine or overarching our back in order to get the heel up too high. You want to keep your hips kind of level, square to the ground, and just get that squeeze. Just get a little squeeze. That's all. All right. Moving on back to our 10 reps. Oh, our bent over flies. All right, then do the donkey kicks. They are moving at a pace. They will not be hitting the bonus round. So if you guys are with us, leave that bonus round for some other time. All right. Bent over flies. Chest forward. Lifting those hands up. Keep those arms as long as you can. And donkey kicks. These guys are starting to move now. Some of these, some of these supersets, we kind of move fast through. Some of them take a little bit longer. All in all, though, time you should work out pretty well. All right, here we go. Back to our flies. Good work, guys. Good work. Good work. Nice job, man. Huh? I know a lot of you are watching this video later, and I'm uh, hoping you find my words encouraging because I know you guys are putting in the time. If you're listening, if you've been this far through to the workout and you're still with us, I know you're working hard. I don't care what kind of weights you're using lightweights, heavyweights, some of these exercises, no weights, just going through the range of motion. Just keep on moving for this 45, 60 minutes. It's good, it's good stuff. All right. Never has to be perfect, but as long as we keep moving, we're good. Staying healthy. All right. We are on to our machines. Moving down to 10 calories. Or you can do some jack-in-the-box at home. Either way, getting that heart rate up. Lushing out some lactic acid before it builds up. All right, guys, as we finish up this cardio, let me tell you a little story about Dr. Morgan. Some of you in East Granite, actually, he comes to Wakefield as well, but Dr. Morgan, he's uh, mid to late 70s. He's been coming here for uh, eight years now. And, you know, so he doesn't uh, always use the app to sign up, but, man, he'll call in the morning before he comes to his workout just to let me know he's coming and it's one of the best phone calls I get some people say 
well, just get him used to the app. Get him to, yeah, it's easy enough. He could figure it out if he wanted to. I'm sure he could. But, man, it's great to know that he just enjoys calling just to make sure he's got a spot safe for him. And uh, I don't answer because it just goes to voicemail and he just says, oh, going to be there for the 1045. So uh, that's all I need to hear. And, uh, I just thought it would be a fun story to share at 70 seven, eight years old, he gets on that phone, calls, he just called, quarter seven, and he's just calling to let me know he's coming to the 1045 today, so, um, okay, sorry about that, I've uh, been doing a lot of digressing today, so we were on to our seventh set here, we started with our figure eights, get about figure eights, and now we're on to our line pullovers, right, the line pullover, the goal is to keep the feet just an inch off the ground, and you pull that weight, all the way from over your head to your thighs. All right. Now we got Henry here blocking the camera view. So we might as well talk about what he's doing. Figure eights, right? Nice and strong. You want to bring that weight up to the chin area. All right. A little higher there as we go through the legs. Switch hands behind you. A lot easier doing this without the lunges, I'd say, right? So watching Paul over there in the corner, can't be seen in the camera, but he's doing his lateral raises. He's on the eight. Doing some heavy exercises with that. <laughs> heavy equipment with that. All right. But so we're here with our lateral pullovers. All right. We're able to keep those feet just an inch off the ground. It helps keep the lower core active. Pulling the weight over with your shoulders to get the upper core working. All right, scooting through here, scooting through. On to the figure eights again. We got another quick set here. I like these figure eights because it gets a little obliques working. It's very similar to a one-arm swing, but you know, you're gonna switch hands, so it uses a lot of coordination, and the weight's kind of going side to side, so you gotta really be strong with your obliques to hold yourself steady as you do that. Moving on to the lateral pull, lateral pull over. All right, and back to figure eights. finish. Ooh, ready. Moving through here, moving through. All right, all right, all right. And we move down to our eight calories on the machine. Ooh. Jumping jacks at home, just a suggestion for you. This is a long workout, guys. One more set of exercises after this. I like it, I like it. Set, last set of exercises, lateral raises with those dumbbells. Again, light set of dumbbells. This could also be done with that band if we had it. 
that's how I keep saying this band work, but I gotta keep reminding myself. I gotta start modifying these so we can get more ways for people to get these workouts done at home with less equipment. All right. So here we go. Lateral raises. Keep those arms pretty straight. Lifting them up to the side. All right. That's it. And not to really be bent over here. You want your spine nice and tall. Head is up. All right. Those arms coming directly to your side. Nice, nice, nice. All right, now we move on to this reverse plank. I haven't really done a reverse plank here before. So it's basically on your hands. Well, we're trying to keep both legs straight. Let's see, you might have to go out there and help her with that one. Keeping that leg straight, keeping those hips up as high as you can. Really feels uh, strenuous on the hamstrings. I'm uh, feeling my hamstrings, I'm sure, from yesterday's workout. And, uh, I know I'm more flexible than most when it comes to that, so it's definitely not an easy exercise to do, but it works the shoulders for holding yourself up, hips, so the glutes and hamstrings as well. All right. Well, I know this has been a long workout, so you're going to have to go, and that's understandable. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, light raises and our reverse planks. Whew. Yeah, especially at the end, doing these reverse planks. Definitely tough at the end. Arms are tired, legs are tired. Whew. But we'll get it down, get through it. All right. On to our set of eight. Lateral raises. To our reverse planks. Like adding these new exercises every now and again. Well, actually, we've been doing a lot of new exercises, so I hope you guys are enjoying those. New challenges for you. Don't want it to be too, too overwhelming, but I thought this is the right mix. Some classics, some new ones, plenty of cardio. We're almost there. Nice job hanging on this long if you're still with us. This is a good one, though. This was a good workout. Remember this one. Put this in the archives. We'll save this format. Monday's format was another good one, too. We like that one. We'll save that one for later. All right. Reverse planks. Lateral raises. Oof. Almost there. All righty. So there, guys. These guys are finishing up. And the last thing we have is our cardio. So six quick calories and they're done so you guys are probably done as well I thank you again if you watched the whole video really appreciate it give that thumbs up um it's also a good time to mention that if you guys subscribe to this uh man training youtube channel uh you'll get the updates you don't have to wait for me to email the workout or description to you or wait to see it on facebook if you subscribe and get the notifications turned on i believe you'll uh, be notified when the new videos are up so if you're looking for the replay or you're just looking for that workout description 
subscribe to the channel and I believe you should get it first thing as soon as it's out. So that's all I have for you now, guys. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday or if it's Thursday when you're watching this, enjoy your Thursday and we will see you later. Thanks again.